Hello, my fellow Whovians. This is Alan. How you guys doing? And uh, for today's edition of Doctor Who Review, I'm going to do it first. I'm going to try to do a Doctor Who Review in the middle of a rainstorm. <laughs> I mean... I know, can the microphone pick up how, how loud the rain is outside my window? But, you know, it's really late tonight and the rain is just... It is really coming down hard tonight outside my window. Uh, thank the Lord I'm inside and thank the Lord my uh, electricity is uh, holding up. <laughs> and I'm going to try to do for you a Doctor Who review despite that rainstorm noise happening outside my window. I've come here today to try to review <laughs> the uh, 101st Doctor Who story, uh, The Androids of Tara, starring Tom Baker as the fourth Doctor. And of course, this story is also the story where uh, the Doctor and his time lady companion, Romana, are searching for the fourth segment to the key to time. But there is more to the plot than that, so the plot of The Androids of Tara, reading it from the back of the DVD, is as follows. Getting the fourth segment of the key to time is the easiest part of the trip to the planet Tara, whose idyllic atmosphere lulls the Doctor into a mood to go fishing and leave the segment tracing to Ramana. She locates it after a short walk on a beautiful day, but her luck changes when she meets the courtly Count Grendel. Contrary to appearances, Tara is a hotbed of political intrigue, and beneath its old-world veneer lies a surprising advanced level of technological development that includes lifelike androids and electric swords. Count Grendel mistakes Romana for an android double of Princess Strella and carries her away for future use in his plot to wrench the crown from its rightful claimant, Prince Reynard. Meanwhile, the Doctor arouses suspicion when Prince Reynard's men discover him fishing on the Prince's estate. Before he and Romana can leave Tara, the Doctor will be unwillingly thrust in the roles of android repairman, kingmaker, and ultimately, swordsman, when he finds himself locking swords with Grendel, the finest swordsman of all Tara. And that's your plot of the androids of Tara. Okay, very good. The androids of Tara. Excellent Doctor Who story. Most excellent Doctor Who story. I've always, always loved the androids of Tara. This is definitely one of my favorite stories from the Key to Time season, and it's definitely one of my favorite stories in general from the Tom Baker era. The androids of Tara is just so fun. I mean, I love the whole swashbuckling nature of uh, the androids of Tara. Great characters, great funny script written by uh, David Fisher. The direction on this story by Michael Hayes, very solid direction. And I just think the androids of Tara is just so much fun. I, I just like the whole presentation of this society on the planet Tara that, you know, they're, they're very Knights of the Round Table-esque, and yet they have advanced technology. They know about androids. Okay, they build androids. They have electric swords. Uh, whenever you see uh, an electric sword being used, it gives off a big flash kind of a thing. That's a lot of fun. These are just really, really wonderful characters. I just think that the script for this story by David Fisher is really good. Uh, I just think these characters are really, really great. But of course, we have to start with the regulars. Once again, Tom Baker, terrific in the story as the fourth Doctor. And he gets to do some really great sword fighting at the end of the story. Man, I love that sword fight at the end of episode four between the Doctor and, uh, and Count Grendel. Terrific sword fight. I just love it. So major kudos to Tom Baker for his sword play, his wonderful sword play at the end of episode four. Uh, with Count Grendel, and just a great performance uh, from Tom Baker, uh, as he usually does as the Doctor. And of course, the, the lovely Mary Tam, looking probably, arguably, the best that she's ever looked in her purple outfit. And I believe this is the, the outfit that the, the majority of fans like uh, the best from Mary Tam. When you think of Mary Tam as Romana, you either think about that white dress or you think about this wonderful purple dress that she wore uh, with, with the top hat there uh, in the Androids of Tara. She's such a beautiful, beautiful woman, such a classy lady, and such a talented actress, and a wonderful companion for uh, Tom Baker's Doctor. And again, great chemistry uh, between her and Tom Baker in this story, and she looks quite lovely, as always. Um, also, uh, for the supporting cast, uh, yeah, wonderful supporting players in, in this cast. I mean, you've got uh, Peter Jeffrey as Count Grendel. He's quite a character. He's just, just so full of himself, you know, and just, just very snotty. 
<laughs> you know, but uh, so he's very, very amusing in the role of Count Grendel, uh, Peter Jeffrey. I mean, I, I like his character a lot. Let's see, Neville Jason as Prince Reynard, a very handsome, uh, dashing uh, prince in this story, and I like him very much. Actually, he does double duty. He plays both Prince Reynard and Prince Reynard's android. But uh, yeah, he's a very suave kind of a guy, so I like him. Neville Jason as Prince Reynard. Paul Lavers as Farah, the uh, the soldier <laughs> with the electric sword. He's uh, he's pretty funny. I like him. <laughs> yeah, he's good. Paul Lavers as Farah. Uh, Lois Baxter as Lamia. Uh, what an interesting name, Lamia, uh, who's basically the assistant of Count Grendel. Yeah, she's quite good in her role. Uh, she also has a romantic interest in, in Count Grendel. And um, yeah, she's, it, it's a supporting role, but, but she is quite good. And uh, oh yes, Cyril Shapps, good old Cyril Shapps, a wonderful character actor Cyril Shapps in his final appearance on Doctor Who as uh, Archimandrite. And this is the one and only time that Cyril Shapps was not killed off in Doctor Who. <laughs> the poor guy, poor Cyril Shapps. I mean, we've seen him before in Doctor Who in uh, the Tomb of the Cybermen uh, with Patrick Troughton and also the Ambassadors of Death and Planet of the Spiders with John Pertwee. And in those three instances, Cyril Shapps' character was killed. But this time, Cyril Shapps, he makes it through the story in one piece. Way to go, Cyril. <laughs> Good old Cyril Shapps making his final appearance on Doctor Who uh, as uh, Archimandrite. And thank you, Cyril, for your wonderful supporting work. Uh, in Doctor Who. The costumes are great, fantastic costumes in uh, The Androids of Tara. I mean, again, there's uh, there's the wonderful outfit that Mary Tam wears in this story, but there's also, uh, well, let's see, there's Count Grendel in his knight outfit. The dashing wardrobe that people like Prince Reynard gets to wear. It's a very, you know, great costume drama kind of a thing. And again, very swashbuckling. I just love and adore the sword fight between the Doctor and Count Grendel at the very end of this story. It is so well staged, so very well done. Just a great ton of fun to watch. Um, all the stuff with the androids, very, very good. I, uh, I, I really liked... Um, like seeing the society that that builds androids and uses them and tries to do some really sneaky shit <laughs> using androids uh, undercover in in uh, certain parts of this story. So really good use of androids, especially when we see the androids with their faces taken off and we just see the eyes and and the the circuitry. But yes, very very good. Uh, once again, of course, I also got to give props to John Leeson, uh, the voice of K9, for doing some nice voice work. Once again, K9 gets some really good stuff to do helping his master uh the doctor out of a jam or two uh always nice to see canine so yeah overall you know this is just a great fun doctor who story i mean again uh androids of tari has great humor in it great action i love the swashbuckling and the sword fighting and uh and the the all the stuff with the androids and and how you know you also get some knights of the round table stuff going on in this story as well it's a really cool blend of you know different styles and um, again, top-notch performances from Tom Baker and Mary Tam, of course, as, as the main pair of The Doctor and Romana. Um, great supporting cast. You got a very clever script by David Fisher. Solid direction by Michael Hayes. And it's just plain fun. Again, four episodes, so flies by quickly. And uh, it's, it's just great entertainment. The Androids of Tara, I like it very, very much. Definitely one of my favorite stories from the Key to Time season and a favorite Tom Baker story uh, from Doctor Who in general. So, yes, thumbs up on the androids of Tara. An excellent, highly enjoyable Doctor Who story. And that's my review of the androids of Tara. So next time on Doctor Who Review, the Doctor and Romana now search for the fifth segment to the key to time in the story, The Power of Kroll. Haven't watched this one in a while, so looking forward to taking another look at it. The Power of Kroll. Next time on Doctor Who Review. This is Alan. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.